Shalom. We are currently sitting in Union Square. This video is not sponsored by Chipotle. This just happens to be the best <laughs> place I could find to uh, set up the camera. But we wanted to start this video off by telling you guys how we met. Yes. Which is a long backstory, but a very short story. Yes. <laughs> so we've been married for nine and a half years, and we have been dating for like 13, 14 years. 13. 13 years, but we've known each other for a lot longer. A lot longer than that. I don't even know exactly how many years, but essentially how we met is that we grew up in the same church together. And so when we were kids, both of our families went to the same church. We were in like the same children's church uh, classes that actually her mom taught yeah and then as we grew up we you know we weren't really friends we weren't friends when we were adolescents or yeah. kids I guess kids but <laughs> in around junior high when we both got into youth group mm -hmm. then we became friends yeah and we started hanging out a lot uh, and then we became like best friends yeah and then it was like that was basically how we met. So we just like grew up in church together, went to the same youth group together. And then this is a fun story that I actually have video footage of is that we went to a camp thing called Teen Roundup in Oklahoma. And I forgot. And there I we were really good we were friends for a while. Yeah. But for some reason, I don't know, maybe it was just puberty, I guess. <laughs> uh, something clicked in my head and at that Teen Roundup I was was watching her like play tetherball or basketball or something. Tetherball, I think, yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, something clicked in my head, and I was like, "Sarah's really cute." <laughs> and then from that moment on, game on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we were like, I don't know, fourteen. Yeah. And I told our youth pastor that I was going to marry Sarah, and he told me I should probably start dating her first. And it was uh, it wasn't for a few more years before I even started dating her. Yeah. And then got married a few years after that. Yeah. I had no chance. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't resist me. I mean, of course she didn't have any chance. She couldn't resist this. <laughs> That's not what I meant, but okay. <laughs> but that is the. Uh, Basically That's the it. quick story of how we met. We just grew up together. We grew up in the same church. It's kind of weird because there's not like a story of how we met. Like, yeah. we were just kind of, we just knew of each other forever. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the story, but now we are going to head over to Williamsburg, Brooklyn, because it's now summer, finally, and uh, there's this thing called Smorgasburg, and it is like an outdoor food festival type thing, and we're gonna go eat lunch and explore it. So come with us. Just a good pun. Yeah, that's true. We've walked around all of Smorgasburg and there are so many vendors here. There's like over a like, hundred vendors. Yeah, and like interesting ones too. Yeah, not like just like the typical. It's like a tour of the world. Like <laughs> yeah. it, if you, I mean, Mono, Himalayan, if Venetian. you like any sort of food, you'll find the one that you like here because it's like yeah. basically every country is represented, and then even like multiple areas of America. Yeah, like the weird ones, like yeah. um, mozzarella sticks and cookie dough. Yeah, and whatever. Cajun. And yeah, all that. What we decided to eat ourselves is a vegan barbecue from Monks, and we got a, a barbecue seitan burger sandwich, yeah. and mm. it looks awesome. What's awesome about it is there is a few different like 
vegan specific like really amazing places but then like right next to it is you know a really awesome meat place and yeah. seafood and all sorts of other different types of food so there's basically something anybody can find here yeah there are tons of people here though and i read on their website that 20 to 30 thousand people come through every saturday it's insane and if you can't make it out to Williamsburg on Saturday, you can just go to Prospect Park on Sunday because they do basically this whole event in Prospect Park. That's so crazy. Every Saturday in Williamsburg, every Sunday in Prospect Park. So cool though. The New York Times actually called Smorgasburg the Woodstock of food. Huh. Which I can not confirm nor deny because I wasn't even alive whenever <laughs> Woodstock was uh, a thing. <laughs> I, however, thought of it as the hipster Epcot. <laughs> So you can tour all these countries' foods uh, in Williamsburg. Do you want to eat in Japan? You want to eat in Japan? Want to eat in Morocco? Eat in Morocco. Thank you. Thank you. Another parallel with Disney World is that they're not just here for your enjoyment. They're here for your money. So everything is very expensive. This vegan barbecue hamburger sandwich thing was $12. And most all of the desserts that we've seen are like $10 for a waffle cone and $10 for that, $12 for that. Yeah. So come prepared. And conveniently, Smorgasburg is either in or right next to this East River Park. And so lots and lots of places to sit and enjoy your food. As long as nobody else takes it. finished our barbecue seitan sandwich and the barbecue seitan was so good yeah it's like, it like perfectly barbecued yeah the bread though I felt like was a little tough and I actually enjoyed eating the seitan that fell out of the sandwich afterwards more than I liked eating the actual sandwich uh, so there's that but, but the flavor whew, was really good yeah but you don't like tough bread so I don't feel like that's fair like to say that it wasn't as good because you just don't like tough bread yeah, there's too much chewing, like baguettes. Ugh. I love baguettes. Baguettes are so good. We have this argument all the time. So he hates baguettes, but they are... No. I mean, they're the best bread. No, <laughs> way too tough. But we're going back in for dessert. I think we're going to sample two different desserts. And the first one is we found this light, fluffy pudding that is served like ice cream. They said it's like loose-like. Sounds, sounds very intriguing. Yeah. So we're going to try it. And then after this pudding in a waffle cone, we're going to go across the aisle to a waffle in a waffle cone with an ice cream. <laughs> wow. We're in line waiting on our waffle cone. We're going to eat our uh, <laughs> banana pudding as we wait. Oh my gosh. Wow. That is definitely the best banana pudding I've ever had. Well, they're on the top 16 places to eat at Smorgasburg, so. This little one scoop cup costs five bucks. Yeah. We finished our banana pudding before our waffle was even done. <laughs> it was so good though. But look at this. Now we're gonna walk down to the water and enjoy our ice cream in a waffle mm. cone. Just finished our uh, waffle cone. Wow. My personal review is I would go with the banana pudding and not the waffle cone. Oh, okay. I, yeah, I mean, I think the banana pudding had a lot of flavor, which was fantastic. And I actually really loved it, but like if you're comparing this to a regular ice cream cone or regular yeah, waffle like cone with ice cream in it, I would go with this. I would go with a regular ice cream cone. Really? The waffle yeah. was really good. I'm not saying that, but it's just so awkward to eat and it wasn't that much better than just having an ice cream cone to be worth $10 and be so messy. Agree to disagree. 
I liked it because you could, like, like it was soft. And that's what I don't like about cones is that I have to chew them and that hurts my teeth with the ice cream. I, I can't chew ice cream. Well, that's the beauty of Smorgasburg is that everybody has their own options. But like I mentioned, it's not necessarily cheap because we spent $12 on one, one sandwich, sandwich, $5 on the banana pudding, and, and $10 on this waffle cone. But you know what? We still have $5 left to get eliminated. Oh, no. Oh, I'm doing it. <laughs> She's going to put me in the poorhouse. <laughs> So now, from experience, we can tell you Smorgasburg is worth the trip out. So um, good. If you're in New York looking for a fun lunch opportunity, I would definitely recommend Smorgasburg. And you can just stick around and see the view of Manhattan and yeah. the, sit on the water. Really nice. Yeah, really nice. Thank you guys for watching. If you are not subscribed, we do videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you are subscribed and have noticed that our upload times have been moving around, we're just experimenting with some stuff. It'll still always be on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but it may be in the evening or in the middle of the day. Just trying to figure out what the best upload time is, but always Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Join us in the next video because we're going to be talking about where does inspiration come from for ideas? Is it in work? Is you just wait around for it? We're going to be discussing that. So make sure you check out the uh, next video, but Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in that one. Bye!